people don't understand what what is it that drives Jacob Zuma so mad about his his ANC. It's still Ramaphosa. You know, Jacob Zuma interprets things personally. In his in his head, you with us in detention, when it was difficult, you wrote to the special branch that we put communist ideas in your head. In doing so, you condemned us to the special branch. Oh, okay. You know what? Uh, listening to Prince Marshall and I was sitting there and I was saying, nah, man. I honestly disagree with the man, right? Uh, the conflict between Ramaphosa and the Uzuma did not start now. Like, um, now he makes it sound like that war, this whole thing, it started now. And I'm sitting there and I was like, no, my man, no, 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 no. no. I honestly disagree with you. You must follow videos. For instance, um, if you go back, Zuma will always hint that um, we ma look that there is this thing called capitalist, and he he will always hint on such things. Uh, he he have been hinting and hinting and hinting, uh, right? So even Mbege has been hinting upon the idea of capitalist, and we now know who's the capitalist, right? So we know for a fact that the war between the two started long time ago, not now. It's just that. The, the 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 look of the the day where he arrested Uzuma, right? Because it is him. Why I'm saying that? He's got the last word in everything that is happening in this country. And if you don't know, those who've got criminal record will tell you that the look of the criminal record. If, for instance, some of them are well, look, were found not guilty. Uh, after they were found guilty, they appealed and they were found not guilty. So you are left with the rec look of criminal record, right? And then they, they will tell you that you will then write to the national office. Only the president's signature can remove your criminal record. So it shows the power that rests with the president. That's why it's called the number one in, this, in the country, the number one citizen in the country. Because that person sits in a power. If that look, oh, and I'm going to demonstrate this, right? I'm going to demonstrate this. I've got a very perfect demonstration on this, right? But this one is, is more perfect here. Yeah. Than any demonstration that I would have given you. Before we get into the demonstration, right? Can I kindly uh, ask you to do the following? If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people. I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge. And that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financially contributing to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel and you know what i'm saying we'll bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay we will we'll play this video of prince Michelle, right but before we do that can i show you something at first when zuma was arrested he didn't he didn't say anything he allowed it to happen right that is as fair at first do you remember that the DA then launched an application? They fought to the court. Then the court ruled that Jacob Zuma must go back to prison, right? As Jacob Zuma went back to prison, do you remember what happened? It was even a joke or a meme was created out of it. Jacob Zuma is the only man in the history of human being who was sentenced and only spent one hour in prison and he went home. We got told that when Zuma got into prison, uh, he received a presidential Pa look a pardon do, do, do you see now do you understand now the power of oh the, the, the power that lies with uramaposa as he's sitting as a president so before i proceed with anything or before i continue saying more things i wanted to listen to what prince Michel said people don't understand what what is it that drives jacob zuma so mad about his his anc it's still ramaposa you know jacob zuma interprets things personally in his 
in his head, Sir Ramaphosa threw him into jail. That's how Jacob Zuma functions. He sees a head of state as a king, that a head of state can get whatever they want. So his interpretation of his imprisonment post-1994 is that he was imprisoned by Sil Ramaphosa and he wants to revenge. So if he were to be in a situation where there is a possibility of a coalition government in KZN with the DA to punish Sil Ramaphosa, I can tell you Jacob Zuma would run into that boardroom and say, let's do it. Mm. So he wants to punish Sil Ramaphosa. It's, it's a personal war as far as he sees it. Yeah, he might be, be a bigger flip-flopper than uh, Julius Malema. One would imagine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Having said what he said, um, I honestly disagree with him, like I've already told you. Uh, I, I don't want to include Mbeki in this, but I'll make an example about it. You can't say the war between Mbeki and Zuma uh, maybe started on something else. It started way back, way back, way back, way back. Right, so you can't use any existing, any existing or any new, uh, new, uh, any any new evidence to suggest that it is because of this. So that's where me and him do not see eye to eye. Right, that is where me, me and him we just don't see eye to eye. Yeah, now he's saying, uh, look, Zuma became angry because of he says it he became angry because of um uh, Ramaphosa had Allah, look, had arrested him but even prior to that like let's be let's face it guys even prior to that you could see that mm, 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 la there's something wrong here between the two right you 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 you, you, you could see that nah there's something wrong here uh, tell me if i'm lying tell me if i'm lying so i don't believe that it started there i think um, it started way before then. It started way, way, way before then. For instance, have you listened to Msua Lekota when he was speaking about how Ramaphosa sold them out? What if it started there? Well, maybe speaking about Msua Lekota, I need to find his video. And when I find his, the video of Msua Lekota, I need to insert it here. We were invited on a trip of struggle by the preeminent leader of the students of our time, the late Steve Beagle, who said to us that we must fight the struggle and said that, and I quote, in case of danger or living conditions that threaten human life, we must accept life for what it is or not at all. It did not take very long, two years or so, because that was around 72. In about 1974, we went into detention, among others. And in the course of that, we had to respond to this challenge. And I want to say to you, you invited me last week. We had to respond to that challenge. Your invitation last week was late. The challenge we had to respond to was that time, and you with us in detention. When it was difficult, you wrote to the special branch that we put communist ideas in your head. In doing so, you condemned us to the special branch. And I say, no, no, I say this to you. I say this to you Order. because the, the special branch rewarded you, as they always reward their victims, and they send you home. And we headed to Robben Island. You should have responded. This invitation that you are issuing on Friday, you should have issued it then. We should have traveled together to the island to serve years for, for the struggle of our people. I will not join you in the trip that you are suggesting. I will not join you because you made your choice there. There's a point of order. And so, this is to give you a brief overview of Ramaphosa. People who, who have fought for this country, they have a history with Ramaphosa. So, how do you conclude on the, on the basis of 
the evidence that you see now and say it started here when there is an evidence that these two they come a long way it has been said that Ramaphosa is the one who drafted the constitution but if you listen to what Mso Legota said what if he the man was involved in selling uh look the comrade right what if he was involved I'm just saying because why I'm saying what if he was involved because remember when there was the funeral of this um photographer what do you remember the picture that came out there uh, uh abo zuma running away and there was somebody whose name i cannot say who was with the white people in the car so you, you listen to what imswali got said and then you're looking at that picture and you're like yeah this too makes a lot of sense i'm just saying in front of look the evidence is just in front of you so things might have started there right escalated to the point where it is today but the bottom line is that the look zuma was in the intelligence department for a very longest time he knows what we don't know right they themselves they know that he knows what we look what we ordinarily don't know so the war started long time ago it's just that it got um exacerbated by the incident where Zuma was then arrested. Where then we say we saw the very same president, President Ramaphosa, uh, issuing a, a look a presidential pardon. What, what, what was the significance of that? Was it at first was to was it to show that he controls everything in the judicial system, policing and everything? And then the second thing was that if you have learned the lesson, this is what I'm going to do to you. So you must submit to me. What was the lesson? Why on the second time where Zuma was then told to go back to prison? Why the second time then he then said, listen, uh, he then said, listen, I'm issuing a presidential pardon. So Zuma was not, Zuma just went in and then out and then go, go, went back home. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe, you know. So that's why on the basis of that, that's why I'm saying, nah. I don't believe this. I don't. I honestly don't believe this. But I'm a man born under sin, subject to correction. So what shall I say? Because I'm a man born under sin, subject to correction. Get into the comment section below. Tell me what you think about everything. You and I, guys, will see each other in the next one. But until such a time, please take care.